Hi, this is Phil Blampede from Today River Valley. With media today being so exciting and stimulating, it wouldn't seem that kids might be interested in old-time silent films. But a group of students from Deerago High School in Dixfield proved that not true a few years ago. With their teacher, they hosted a silent film night, including Charlie Chaplin films and including a live keyboard accompanist. The event worked out really well and was very well attended by people from all over town. From the archives of Today River Valley, here's a report on how the evening went. We'll have that after a short message from a local business. Hi, I'm Roger Whitehouse, owner and designated broker of Riverside Realty right here in Mexico, Maine. Western Maine has so much to offer, and Riverside Realty is proud to call this area home. Whether you are looking to buy or sell, we are here for you. Let us navigate you through your journey with our years of experience and expertise. We go the extra mile for each of our clients because we really care about the people we work with. Call us at the office or visit our website to learn more about how we can help you. We hope to see you soon. Let's look at one of the great business opportunities in the River Valley now offered by Riverside Realty. This is MLS 102-1224, a commercial building on Route 2, Main Street, in Mexico, Maine, with 3,325 square feet of commercial space and two rentals on the second floor with three bedrooms each. It's totally renovated and there's a great daily traffic count right out front on Route 2, asking $239,900. Whether you're considering buying or selling real estate, call Riverside Realty at 369-0100. Hope to see you soon. Historic preservation usually means restoring old buildings with bricks and mortar, but just as important is how historic buildings are used. A teacher from Deerago High School in Dixfield, Maine, with his students' help, has created what could be one of the best examples of an appropriate use of an historic building in Maine, a yearly silent film night featuring a live accompanist at the Tuscan Opera House, a building which did indeed show films a century ago. The Tuscan Opera House, centrally located on Main Street in Dixfield, once served as the cultural center of the community. Today it is in disrepair, a structure so large that restoration would be more costly than any resources yet to be found for the job. Yet it is still solid enough to host an audience, and in December the grand old building filled with the smell of popcorn and the flickering light of old Charlie Chaplin films as the students, their teacher, and an expert silent film keyboard player from New Hampshire gave an audience a taste of what a night at the movies might have been like in that very building a century ago. I'm Kurt Rowley, a teacher at Deerago High School. Uh, this is a uh, little time machine. This is a trip to the past tonight, for sure. Um, this is something that uh, we have documentation that people came here and watched silent films uh, nearly 100 years ago. And we're going to recreate that as best we can tonight. Uh, my name is still Jeffrey Andrew Rapsis, Jeff Rapsis for short. I'm from Bedford, New Hampshire. I am a silent film accompanist, where I create live music for silent film screenings at venues all around New England, like here at the Tuscan Opera House, uh, and occasionally further afield in other places uh, when I'm invited. It's impressive once Mr. Rapsis gets going uh, that someone can ad lib like that, uh, and, I, and I think it fascinates people. You know, I, at first, it's kind of a difficult sell, a silent film, you know, who wants to watch an old you know, a movie without any, you know, sound. Um, but um, he makes it come to life for sure. I have all my life been interested in older film. Um, I can actually date it to when uh, in study hall in seventh grade I had a music teacher who was also a film collector uh, and he would bring in some of his older films um, in study hall to keep us busy and he would bring in 
uh, occasionally films. I remember the first one he showed was um, Charlie Chaplin's short comedy, 1 a.m. from 1916. And, um, you know, I don't know about the other students, but I was captivated. I always did music, and about 10 years ago, I got a chance to score an independent feature film made in New Hampshire, uh, which I had never done before, and I had such a great time doing it. I thought, well, I could do more of this, but there weren't exactly a lot of film directors in New Hampshire throwing themselves at me saying, do music for my movie. So, so I could do music for other films that are already around, such as the great silent films. Um, and so I started doing that and I found I could do it using a keyboard like this um, and using um, prints of the films on digital media, uh, like we're going to do tonight. Uh, it was like two things I always had loved. I put them together. It's like chocolate and peanut butter and they were like even better together. Well, we're uh, trying to raise some money for the uh, Dixfield Historical Society. We're a classroom of about 15 kids, and this is our third year doing this uh, fundraiser for them. Good evening, and welcome to the Tuscan Opera House. Uh, I'm Mr. Rowley, and I, I gotta say, this is a tremendous turnout. Uh, this is my River Valley Civilization class present, and uh, a couple from uh, classes prior. Uh, great kids who have done the work to put this on uh, for the uh, Dixfield Historical Society. So, uh... I find the black and white to be a way to really step back in time and just really get the feel of 1920s. Granted, it's nice to have sound, but eh, not bad. I'm quite a fan of the silent films. They're Interesting in the fact that you don't know what exactly is going on, but the music kind of keeps you in key with the theme of it. They're all quite modern in the way that they're filmed, but they really bring you back with how they look and how they feel. What, do you think you'd want to live in the 1920s? Definitely. I was definitely born in the wrong century. <laughs> no, I think they're pretty funny. Like, in class, we, we found it really funny. We laughed a lot. Uh, yeah. Laughing at it or with it? With it. It was, I don't know, just the way that they did things was funny. Um, this is my first year doing it, and uh, definitely enjoy silent films. They're interesting in the way um, how it actually physically and mentally brings you back and stuff, but yeah. But uh, there's, no, there's no CGI or special effects. Do you miss the car crashes? It, it all has to be done through acting rather than the special effects. Uh, don't miss it, and I think that's the beauty of it, is that there are not special effects and stuff like that. It's all, it's raw, it's more raw. Yeah, this building used to be uh, a central part of the town. Uh, we have some old photos of progressive rallies here and uh, high school proms and a number of plays. Vaudeville was here. Uh, and so when we do something like this, uh, I feel anyway, it kind of breathes life into the building. <laughs> 